Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how you easily network custom structs and custom classes using Pernet. Now, this is actually very easy, and first of all, just as a testing setup, I've just made this test behavior script, I've put it on my player, and I've attached it to the player directly. So let's open up the script, and this is already a network behavior. And now let's try and actually network a custom struct. So first of all, let's talk about what it takes to network a struct. Pernet locally auto-serializes structs for you, so that should be very simple. So for example, if I just make a private struct, and the same thing goes for classes, by the way, I'm just gonna call this uh, data struct, for example. We can call it whatever we want, and I can expand it. And this is now already auto-networked. So if I make a public int, and I'll just call it uh, int value, for example, and I'll make a public vector three, and I'll call this vector value. This is now already auto-synced. And the reason for this is because int and vector three are both easily serializable values. This essentially counts for things like u short, int, float, strings, vector three, vector two, essentially all of these sort of simple one parameter values that are already in Unity can essentially be serialized here. And we could even actually serialize like network identities, for example, so if I wanted to send my network identity, identity, for example, you could also serialize that very easily and it'll be also serializable. Now let's try and actually put this to the test. So let me do the classic on spawn setup and then I'll do enabled equals to this owner. So that way if we're not the owner, it won't run this and then we'll run a key input. So I'll do get key down, key code dot, let me do E for example. And then I will send some data here and let's make the class to receive the data. So I'll make a, a let's do an observers RPC directly because I'm on the unsafe rules, I can send up servers RPCs directly and we can just call this the test RPC. And this should take in our data struct just to show you that we can successfully send this over the network. And then similar to what it likely wants to do here, I'll just debug it out so you can see test RPC, we take the in value and we have the vector value as well. So now let's actually build out the struct. So let's do a var, oh, whoops, var my data and it will be equals to a new data struct and we'll build it out. So let's first just make some parameters in the Unity editor. Let me do a serialized field, private int, my int, and I'll also do the same for vector three, and this will be my vector. Now, if we set the int value of the new data struct to the my int, and we'll set the vector value equals to the my vector, it's really as easy as that. We just end that, and of course we send it with the test RPC, so we'll send my data. And that's as easy as that. Obviously, this is just a basic RPC setup, which is populating a struct. Now, the same thing could really go if this was a class. Same thing, just keep in mind that structs allocate less, so they're more performant. Um, so yeah, in that sense, I prefer using structs. And yeah, this should really just work. So now when I press E, it should send whatever that I have set in my local inspector to everyone, because it's an op service RPC. So let's just go and test this. I have both my host and my client ready. So I'm just gonna go and start this. I can select my player. I'm gonna go join with the client. And let's just set up some values. So let's do 69, 10, minus three, and 15, for example. And if I now hit E, you can see it now sent these values. And on my clone as well, we received the exact same values. So you can see this custom struct has now successfully sent over the network. Now, of course, we can do the same on our client here. So if I just take my client right here, I can say this should be 420, this should be 100, 99, 98, and I hit E. You can see this now sent 420, 100, 99, and 98 correctly using our custom struct over the network. And it's really that easy to auto serialize things in Pernet. Now, in case you get some kind of packer error, a good thing to try is to kind of force it to auto pack the data, which you do by just doing I packed auto after the struct. So by simply having it inherent from IPAC auto, you're essentially telling Pernet to sort of enforce trying to auto network this, which should solve your issue nine out of 10 times. Of course, if you have any other issues, feel free to jump into the Pernet Discord and ask any questions. If this was helpful to you, leaving a comment, liking and subscribing really does help a lot. And I really appreciate it. Other than that, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.